Concerts and live shows have been canceled for months now, so British scientists decided to learn more about the relationship between the coronavirus and singing. In today's Aging in Style, Carolyn Long looks at how researchers turned to classical music for their latest study. Researchers call it surgical theater. Musicians wearing scrubs, a hospital room for a stage, and only one song to perform. Happy birthday to you. It's been dubbed the Happy Birthday Study, developed by researchers at Bristol University and Imperial College to determine the safety of singing during a pandemic. We know that when you speak, um, much the same as when you cough or sneeze, you generate a lot of very small particles. The World Health Organization maintains that COVID-19 can be transmitted through respiratory droplets. While a six-foot distance may protect from nearby talking and breathing, little is really known about how far particles spread while singing. What we are calling for is more uh, systematic research to be done in these types of settings. So it's not just how and when uh, transmission happens, it's the settings in which they happen. In this study, participants sing or, or play into a funnel. Scientists then record how many particles are exhaled and the distance they travel. Researchers say they've heard the classic tune now more than a thousand times in the last few weeks. While the study is still underway, scientists hope their findings can determine whether additional precautions are needed for performers and whether governments can safely allow musical performances to return, allowing people to catch a tune and nothing else. Carolyn Long, KCTV 5 News.